Oh, he dropped it again. <laughs> echoes in the background. I'm going to be here with my buddy Nick and uh, so we're going to be shooting his AR. He's going to try and dial in his, uh, his sight a little bit and then we're going to do some shooting with my AK-47, my Sega uh, and then I'm also going to do a little bit of shooting with my uh, Springfield XDS. Hey guys, so another thing we're going to do here is we're going to compare Nick's AR-15, the devil gun of the Democratic Party. We've got some cool tan furniture on here. We've got a, a UTG riser, and then we've got a, a one power red dot on here, which he's gonna dial it in, and once we got it dialed in, we're gonna get some hits on a bowling ball. So we're gonna compare the impacts of these two rifles on a bowling ball. It's a 10 pound, kind of rubberish plastic bowling ball. So we're gonna be shooting 223.55 grain out of this, and then those are gonna be uh, full metal jackets and then the, this guy, 762 by 39, we're going to be shooting 115 grain uh, hollow, jacketed hollow points. So we're going to see what kind of hits we can get with it. My guess is one of them is going to do a lot more damage than the other. I apologize for the wind, but we're going to compare the damage here at about 100 yards and up close. And again, I figure it's going to be pretty unanimous that... The, the black devil gun over here is going to do some damage. Okay, so what we're going to be shooting at is this one foot steel gong AR500. I got it on clearance last year from uh, Sportsman's Warehouse. Really good product. Uh, we're going to spray paint it black and put a little white dot on the center. Uh, we're going to be shooting our rifles at about 100 yards depending, uh, give or take. We might do some walking back and forth, maybe 80 to 70 and then also at, at about 100 yards. So what we've got is some uh, new updates on my AK-47 by Sega. Again, if you're new to the channel, this is a Sega AK-47. It might be the AKM depending on who you talk to. Um, but the reason I call it an AKM is because it's got the longer gas block and it didn't come with the wood furniture on there. So starting from the back, we've got the Magpul Zukov's folding stock, which clears any sort of bolt action bolt can travel all the way to the rear with the stock so you can fire it like this. I will tell you though that it is not very comfortable to shoot like this because this rests right where your hand is. So if you depress the button and fold it to the side it does click into position so it's not going to bounce out of the way. That's why I use this as my truck gun because it does get pretty compact. 
even for a, a, a really long barrel. I left the uh, RCW grip on here, the grip that came with it from the factory when they did the uh, conversion from being the stock style to this. Again, this does have the Russian trade, so it did need to be uh, compliant with that law that came out. We've got a 30 round AK uh, Magpul PMAG. I'm gonna get the Ranger plates for it on the bottom because I really like those. Uh, I've liked it so far, no misfeeds. Again, I do have the bullet ramp in here, so I can't accept normal magazines. Uh, this isn't the newer generation that has the metal clip on the back. I found that if you're gonna buy a bunch of these, you're not gonna use each mag 100 times, and I'm not really out here doing too many tactical reloads with them, so I'm not too worried about that plastic tab breaking. You know, Magpul makes a good product. Then we've got the very last Zukov front grip in Utah. I called every distributor I could find and nobody had them. Even at this place, that Gunny's on uh, State Street in Orem, Utah, they had it. They told me they didn't, but I found it under some boxes. I've got the M-Lock uh, thumb stop on here. I'm gonna flip it around because a lot of people drive their weapon out. I don't, I pull it back in. So I'm gonna flip this around, still really comfortable. I like the, uh, the serrations on there, the, the kind of stippling. It gets, it gets really comfortable for me. Then I've got an MMP flashlight on here. It's a 500 lumen light. You've got two buttons on here. You've got the pressure pad to, to uh, for momentary. And then we also have the, the click button with a pretty tactile click that you can actually hear for uh, permanent on. So I really like that. Again, this is my truck gun, so I figured having a light on there probably isn't gonna be a bad thing. It does run on one CR123A style battery. I've got it set right at the 100 mark, or 100 meter mark. I found that to be very accurate open sight wise. Where I've got it, you're gonna see, once I get it dialed into this position, I, I get uh, hits almost every time. As far as it comes with the everyday carry, I've got a We The People holster. This is my XDS. Um, just so you can see, I've got the neon green front side on there. This is the 3.3. I really love this gun. It's not comfortable to shoot all day long because this is the, the second generation with all of the serrations on there. Not really comfortable, but the good thing is, since my injury here with my hand, I can't feel my hand at all. So that being said, it doesn't disturb me anymore. Um, but I've got a We The People holster here. Uh, the tag's starting to come off, but it is in the, the carbon fiber Kydex. I really love this holster. I've been using it for about a year now since I've had my concealed carry. I love this holster dearly. Uh, I've got it canted a little bit because I've got this this thumb stop on my on my flush fit mag. And I I draw very well, I draw much better when I've got it at that angle. Also, I print a lot less when I'm wearing tight clothing when the weapon is kind of in this orientation compared to this orientation. I love it. It clicks into place really easily on almost every belt that I have, and uh, it's pretty good. Then the magazine holder that I'm gonna be using is a Black Hawk. This is just your standard Black Hawk single stack magazine um, holder. This isn't anything I usually carry with, but since we're kind of going a little ways with our hiking <laughs> all the way down there for our shooting, uh, I, I'm taking this just so I can have two mags on me. So when we when I'm doing my drills, this is the magazine holder that I'm going to be using. I love it. Great retention. Uh, I, you would never be able to shake these mags out of there. And then with the, the lip on the back of them like it is, it's really easy to get these mags out of there. So if you've got a 9mm XDS, I highly suggest the, uh, the Blackhawk if you're looking to carry two mags on you. We're going to be shooting from the bed of my truck right there at this guy. Beautiful view, Spanish Fort Canyon.
That must have been straight on. Uh -huh. it, it's definitely stuck in there somewhere. That one I bet was the one that spun it. Because I bet you it was on the side. Actually, it was this way. It impacted right there. Yep. And blew out the side. And then that one. Probably that's the exit. That's probably the exit then. Yeah, you're right. Alright, now let's give it a shot with the 762. Jacket's still in there. And so these were hollow points. Yeah. Jacketed hollow points. <laughs> Jeez. That was a side. Uh huh. Actually, I bet it was right. I... Look at the way that it like moved out of the way, or, like melted. Which one did I hit? I think that. <laughs> oh, I had a the exit hole. Where the hell was oh. it? I think we I, both hit. I think in the we same both hit place. right there. Yeah, you're right. Or maybe it was that one. No, that was. Huh. We saw that he, he did get a graze. Yeah. Wow, that's uh. Said. So uh, I just kind of want to show the difference between a 223 um, full metal jacket and a 762 by 39 hollow point. <laughs> um, I won't take credit for this perfect hole because that used to be a, a finger hole. It used to be like that. 
but uh, came in and kind of shot that whole side out. And then this is the 223. So obviously one of them's made for penetrating and one of them's not. Comparison, comparison. That's crazy. That's insane. And we've kind of removed the entire outer layer of this side right through there. Staying up when I go out, you gotta know I'm all yours. Right. But when I say what's that about, you start slurring your words. Tell me why right. you have to seem so distant when I'm holding you. Right. Your fingertips are drifting away, and I feel right. how it hurts. Why do I? Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This is another Outdoorsman One video. Outdoorsman 1 is now proudly brought to you by Multimock Bivy Mock. Go ahead and use their promo code of Outdoorsman10 to get you 10% off on anything on their online store. Go check them out. They've got some pretty good products for all your outdoorsy needs. And uh, as well, they've got some pretty cool swag t-shirts and patches. So stay tuned.